What I'm going to talk about in this video very quickly is the uh, problem of getting uh, Ankh SVN working in Visual Studio 2010. That's an issue that's plagued the course uh, up till this point. Hopefully uh, I have a solution for the problems that some of the people are having. Uh, so if we go into Notes and uh, look at Windows Notes and there's a section here on Subversion and uh, there's a link to Ankh SVN. Uh, that's one area to look at. And then the other area is in the um, is on my lectures. So if you go to Notes, Lectures, uh, on Lecture 1 I talk about how to download Ankh SVN. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a third link and talk about how to uh, to um, activate Ankh SVN if it's not already activated. On my system it was already activated and uh, so I didn't need to go through this procedure. So if you're having trouble with Ankh SVN uh, you can listen to the rest of this video otherwise uh, you don't need to uh, to listen anymore. So I'm going to um, go into Visual Studio here and show you uh, the area where um, where you need to be concerned with. So under Tools, Options, so what I've been doing, one thing is uh, when we go under Tools and look at Extension Manager, uh, you'll see that Ankh SVN is uh, in fact installed as an extension. So now we go into Tools and Options, but it may not be the case that it's would have uh, assigned as the the default mechanism to use for uh, revision control. So we come into this options pane and go down to source control, and you'll see here that uh, you get a a plugin uh, selector, and uh, your <coughs> you may have a different setting here. So what you want to do is change this setting to on SVN then hit OK and that's it and at this point uh, you should be able to right click on the project and you'll see the mention of subversion down here and uh, for instance although I already have this project uh, stored in uh, in a repository that you'll be able to uh, do things like um, uh, commit them to to a new repository that you specify